Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. So, in this video what we're going to be talking about is wireless LAN controllers, setting up wireless access points, setting up a little DHCP server for the access points to get IP addresses, and if you guys don't know what wireless access points are, standalone access points, they're something like this. Like this is a ubiquity wireless access point. It's a standalone, it's a standalone access point, not like my other video, like an all-in-one. This is not a router. So if you just plug this in, if it doesn't have a DHCP server, you're not gonna give an, get an IP address for this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up two access points, connect them to a controller so you can control and deploy the configs from the access point, you know, and control the act uh, from the controller to the access points. I apologize. So you make all your changes instead of like saying you want your SSIDs on here, you're gonna do all your configs on the controller, and it then it it uh, propagates to the wireless access points. All right. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into it. Thank you for viewing. Hey doing guys, welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to be talking about is wireless LAN controllers and we're going to be setting up two wireless access points, a DHCP server, a client to manage everything. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is a plain old blank topology. So what we're going to do is start out with network devices. We're going to go to wireless. We're going to grab a wireless LAN controller. We'll do the 2504. Okay, and then we're going to grab two access points. What we're going to do is grab the uh, lightweight access point one, two, and that's it for now. Let's go to switches. We'll grab a 2960, okay, because we have to connect everything. Uh, we have to go to end devices. Let's grab a PC and a server, okay? So we'll just name this one. WAP2, and then we'll name this one WPA1, and then we'll name this Pat PC. Okay, and switch one. Oops. I guess uh, uh, wireless LAN controller one. Okay, and then the server will be DHCP because this is going to be acting as a DHCP server. Okay, cool. So now we'll just go ahead and go to the little uh, fire lightning looking thing, the connection, and we're going to connect the PC to the switch. The access, oops, I'm not going to do the access point yet, sorry. That's fine. Uh, nope, I just want to get out of this. Cancel this. And then I want to do the server to the switch, the switch to the access point. Okay. So I want to connect these access points in a second. Um, once everything is configured, uh, then once we have DHCP and everything enabled, we'll uh, go ahead and enable that. Okay, cool. So first things first, let's get our um, IP segment. So we'll do 172.16.100.10 okay we'll do that for the pc with a slash 24 172 not 176 my bad 72 and then slash 24 okay and then we'll make the ax the wireless access point 172.16.100.10 two okay and we'll make the DHCP server 172.16.100. Uh, what, what do we make uh, two so we'll make this dot five okay we got five that should be fine with a 24-bit mask cool and now we'll go to services on our DHCP server, we'll go to DHCP. We'll see the pool, we'll turn this on. Our gateway, we'll make it 172.16.100.1 with the 24-bit mask. Okay, and then 
our starting DHCP will start at uh, 172, uh, 16, uh, 100.50. That should be okay. And then we should just have 20, 25 IPs. That's fine. And then for our wireless LAN controller IP, we're going to make that 172, 172.16.100.2. Okay. And that looks all, that all looks good. Let's save that. Okay, perfect. Now this all looks good. Make sure. Okay. So go back to config. Okay, perfect. Let me just copy this. And then I can just put that here. And we can put that as a DHCP address. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and make our uh, way around. Did we do the PC yet? Uh, no. Let's go ahead and configure the configuration for the PC. 172.16.100.10, 24-bit mask. And then 172.16.100.1. And we'll use Google DNS server, okay? Just for, uh, for the demonstration. Perfect. All right, so now I think we should be able to ping from our PC to the DHCP server. Whoops, not that. Let's see if we can ping it. Ping 172.16.100.5. Perfect. We are getting replies from a DHCP server. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and configure the wireless LAN controller. Now let's go to configure, management, and the management is going to be 172.16.100.2 with a 24-bit mask. The gateway is in 172.16.100.1 and Google's DNS. Perfect. This is amazing. So let's see, let's make sure that's stuck. Okay, let's make sure we can get to, to it from here. Ping.2, let's let it ARP. We'll give that a second, make sure it replies. Perfect. It's replying. Now what we can do is go to the web, uh, the web browser. Okay, and then we'll uh, 172.16.100.2. Now this should bring us to the wireless LAN controller. Make sure I can bring this bigger. Okay, we'll give that a second. It should pop up, pop up shortly. Uh, sometimes, yeah, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. All right, so our admin username, we're going to create it as admin. The password is just going to be password and password. I guess we have to put uh, whoop. one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, let's just do capital. P. You know what? Let's do this. Wireless LAN controller password. So we don't forget. I want to put password 2020. Okay. Just so we know. And okay. Let's make admin go to this. So we know. Okay. Admin. Perfect. So now we have the username and password. So let's go back here. I want to make it password 2020. Password 2020. Perfect. Okay. Now we can go to next. Our system name, we can make it um, WLC-2020. Wireless LAN controller 2020. Okay. This looks all good. The management IP address for this would be 172.16.100.2. 24-bit mask, perfect, 172.16.100.1. Okay, so we're not tagging any VLANs, so the management VLAN is gonna be on its default, uh, on its default uh, VLAN ID, which is zero, perfect. So this is going to be the network name of the, the wireless networks. All right, so we're just going to put uh, pat-wifi, OK? 
Okay. And we'll put this, copy this. We'll make a new thing, uh, SSID, and then password, we'll do password 2020, okay? Just so we just keep it consistent, boom. Let's go back here. So the passphrase WPA2 personal, we're gonna make it as password 2020. Likewise for the, perfect. All right, so PHP server. Uh, okay, I think that should be all good. So let's hit next here. Our virtual IP, that, that's fine. We can have the, the virtual IP be default. Okay, this all looks good. Perfect uh, Wi Fi. Make sure, okay, perfect. Now we can apply the settings. We're going to reboot. Let that reboot. It'll take a second. Okay, as you see here, uh, the switch is going amber because it's going through spanning tree. So we can look at the switch. Show interface status. Okay, uh, what port is it? Three. So look at show spanning tree. VLAN one. Three. Okay, so it's in forwarding now, so we should be good. Perfect. There we go. So now we can go back to the PC and configure the LAN controllers. Okay. So now what we can do is take these connections from the access point to the switch, to the access point to the switch. Okay. Now you see it's red. The reason why it's red is because by default, these little access points are turned off. So if we look at it, it has no power. So what we have to do is take this little brick, power brick, clip, uh, click on it, drag it up to the power and drop it. There you go. Okay. So now you can see it's green. Same thing for WAP2. Take it. Bing. Okay. Cool. So now that uh, we're going to have that, let it do its thing. Let's go ahead and go back into PC one browser. So now we're going to go ahead and now once the wireless access controller is configured, what we have to do now is access it via HTTPS. We cannot, we can no longer do it through HTTP. Check it out. 172.16.100.2 server, you know, uh, server reset connection. But now if we put the S here, now we can log in. So just remember that that's a little cool tip. Cool. So now we can just go ahead and hit log in. Now our username and password is right here for the wireless LAN controller is admin and it's password 2020. Perfect. Now we're in here. So now let's go ahead and see if our access points, no, the access points hasn't uh, registered yet. So let's give that a few seconds. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so while that goes through, we're gonna go ahead and just check out the settings. See, this is our wireless, this is our wireless networks. We can create multiple. We can just say, for example, create a new one. And we can make it Pat Wi-Fi 2020. That can be the that no, actually let's just put Pat dash 2020, and then the SSID can be Pat dash new dash network. Okay, and this can be the ID too. Perfect, no worries. Now we hit apply. Now we should see two networks here. Um, we can set up the security, so we'll go on the security. Uh, we'll do. 802.1 uh, um, WPA WPA2 okay and then we'll go ahead and do a WPA2 policy okay and then AES and then we'll enable pre-shared key and then our new password here will make it the same capital P A S S W O R D 2020 okay and then we'll go all the way up here and hit apply let that apply 
And once that's applied, now we can go back to the wireless lens and we should see two networks here now. See, boom, one, two. And now we can see the security profiles or oh, security policy, policy sorry, is um, WPA2, pre-shared key. And one thing we have to do is in order for uh, clients to see the network, we have to go back into here and we have to enable this. So the way we do that is hit number two. Okay, once we hit number two, the page will come back up and we have to just enable the status, apply. Once that's applied, now we can go back to here, wireless lens, and then they should be both enabled. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and go back to monitor, see if these uh, access points registered. Perfect, now they registered. This is a good sign. So now we can go into wireless. Now we should see the two access points here. Boom. We see them here. Look at that. That is a good sign. So we can see, let's see if we make this bigger. We can see the access point name, the IP address, the model, their, the MAC address, the uptime, the admin status, the operational status, their 10100, so that's the ethernet, set up uh, the, the speeds, the AP mode is flex connect, and let's see what else is uh, good here. And that's pretty much it. Universal AP, yeah. So that's pretty much it for here. So you can go to security, you know, you can just click around. Um, this is a simulator, you have to remember, so it doesn't really, you know, there's probably limitations to um, what you can see. But the main thing is, this is how you get your wireless LAN controller. If you have a physical one, it's probably gonna be a little different, but if you're doing like CCNA wireless or you're just trying to learn some wireless concepts, this is, this is perfectly fine. So, of course, when I did my CCNA wireless, I did use Packet Tracer, but Packet Tracer has came a long way uh, from when I did some of my certifications. But so I hopefully this is uh, helpful. So let's go. We can, we're pretty much done with the topology. Now let's go ahead and see. So we got, uh, let's go back. I'm sorry. I wanted to make sure we can communicate with them. H, HTTPS. Whack, whack, 172, whoops, dot 16.100.2. Okay, let's log back in. I want to make sure I can communicate with the access points. So, wireless access points. So, oh, sorry, wireless. It's getting late here, so I'm a little tired. All right, so 172.16. 100.1 and .3. So let's go ahead and go X out of here. So .1 and .3. So if we go up .1, perfect, and .3, perfect. So our network is set up. We're getting DHCP. The access points are getting DHCP from our server. And the wireless LAN controller is controlling these access points now. So that's pretty much how you would set up a basic wireless topology with an wireless LAN controller in your environment associating two access points, all right? So hopefully you enjoyed the video. And again, like I always say, please like, subscribe, smash the bell so you get notifications for new videos, share with your friends and family, and let's grow the community together. All right, until, further, until next time, enjoy the videos, and I really enjoy it. Have a good day. Thank you.